This video will demonstrate the mark and measure method of measuring the foot. The video will cover three areas, basic measuring procedure, measuring requirements for style variations, and a few common options and features. Section one is basic measuring procedure. Record each measurement on the BioConcepts foot measurement chart. Refer to the manual for an explanation of the shorthand notation system for measurements recorded in inches. Measurements in centimeters are welcome. Simply record in decimal notation. Know the measurements you need before you start measuring. Foot tracings are required only when there are amputations or other deformities and for specialty foot garments like foot gloves, foot gauntlets, and foot mittens. Use the BioConcepts foot tracing guide. For most stockings, foot tracings are not useful. Wrap the retractable tape measure around the foot from the back of the heel to the front of the ankle. Use the BioConcepts retractable tape for circumference measurements and remember, never pull the tape snugly. Measure the circumference of the heel and make a mark on the patient at the anterior of the ankle at point Y. This is circumference capital D, which is entered into the appropriate blank on the foot measurement chart. Wrap the retractable tape around the metatarsal heads and make a mark on the foot to indicate the location of the measurement. This is circumference capital F. Find a point about halfway between the two marks made for capital D and capital F. Make a mark on that location. This is where circumference capital E will be taken. You can use the retractable tape or a clear ruler for distance measurements. The measurement little e is the distance between circumference measurements capital D and capital E. The little f measurement is the distance between circumference measurements capital E and capital F. The little g measurement is the distance between circumference measurement capital F and the end of the longest toe. Section 2 of the video covers measuring requirements for style variations. When measuring for a foot glove, foot gauntlet, or foot mitten, specialty items required for the separation of toes, a tracing of the foot and toe circumferences would be required. Use the foot tracing guide. Little a would be the circumference of the big toe, little b the second toe, little c the third toe, little d the fourth toe, and little e the pinky toe. Use a ballpoint pen filler for the tracing. If the toes are to be open tipped, don't forget to draw lines across the toes on the foot tracing to indicate where they should open. We move now to section three, a few common options and features of the garments. Here are a few of our most commonly ordered garment styles and features. Keep in mind, we have many, many more options and features of every style of garment. Consult the measuring manual for more information. This number 11 anklet has a number 36 foot glove attached to it. This example has separate enclosures for each toe and all the toes are open tipped. Just like for hand gloves, any combination of toes may be open or closed tipped and two or more toes may share a common opening. Here is a number 11 anklet with a number 36 foot glove attached. This foot glove has a common opening for the fourth and fifth toes. The first and third toes are open. The second toe is closed. On the foot tracing you would send with these measurements, the first and third toes would have lines across them to indicate the desired openings. A line under the fourth and fifth toes would indicate the common opening, and the second toe would have no lines. Most customers want to have the foot glove attached to the stockings like the example we saw previously. Occasionally, you may want a separate foot glove and open-toed stocking to fit over it. This is an open-toed anklet fitted over a separate foot glove. Foot gloves, gauntlets, and mittens may be attached to any lower extremity garment with a foot. A number 11 anklet attached to a number 38 foot mitten on the example shown here, the great toe piece is open. The other toes share a common covering. This number 11 anklet with an attached number 37 foot gauntlet, here the great toe is enclosed and the other toes share a common opening. Number 11 anklet, a self toe with an expansion panel, the self toe option, the toe box is made from the same fabric as the rest of the foot. 
By default on lower extremity garments, the expansion paddle is posterior on the leg to the planter foot. This is a number 11 anklet with a soft toe, medial zipper, and a Velcro tab to keep the zipper from opening. In the soft toe option, the toe box is made of a soft lining material. There is a seam around the foot joining it to the rest of the garment. The number 11 shown here is an anklet with an open toe and a full ankle lining. In the open toe measurement, the stocking ends at your last circumference measurement.